Question 31 says two boys A and B initially separated by a straight line distance A on the ground. If A and B both start running simultaneously with same speed as shown in the figure, then the distance of the closest approach will be. Dear student, this is a question on the concept of relative motion. Let us analyze the whole situation with respect to A. Now, dear students, to find out the velocity of B with respect to A, all we need to do is in the original speed of B, that is the speed of B with respect to ground, we can add the velocity of A in the opposite direction, that is in this direction. So, the velocity of B with respect to A will be resultant of these two velocities, which will be inclined at an angle of 30 degree with the line AB. Now, dear students, as per A, B will move along this line and the distance of closest approach will be the perpendicular drawn from A on this line. We can clearly see that if this is a side which has the length A, then the length D as in the diagram will be equal to A sin theta. A theta is equal to 30 degree, so D will be equal to A by 2. And hence for this question, the correct answer is 1. Let us move to the question number 32. In this question, consider three vectors A, B, C, which add up to give zero vector, then which of the following is false? Dear students, if three vectors add up to zero, then that means that A plus B plus C is zero. On cross multiplying it with B, we can write down that A plus B plus C cross B is equal to zero. And on expanding, this will be equal to A cross B plus C cross B is equal to 0. Further, we can write down that A cross B will be equal to minus of C cross B and that will be equal to B cross C. Similarly, the magnitude of LHS and RHS will be equal. We can clearly see that the statement 1 is a correct statement and hence it cannot be our answer. Now, let us analyze statement number 2. It says that A cross B cross C lies in the plane of A, B and C. Dear students, since A cross B is perpendicular to the plane of A and B and C is also in the plane of B, therefore A cross B will be perpendicular to C as well. Now A cross B cross C therefore will actually lie in plane of A, B and C. This means that statement 2 is also correct and hence cannot be our answer. Now statement 3 says that A cross B dot C will be equal to ABC if A is perpendicular to B. Now dear students, A cross B will be always perpendicular to C. Therefore, A cross B dot C will be 0 always. Now, therefore, dear students, we can clearly see that statement 4 is correct. However, statement 3, that is option number 3, is an incorrect statement and hence it is our answer. Now, let us move to the question number 33. This question says that the position of the particle is varying with time as the equation is given and A and B are constants. The time after which the acceleration become normal to the velocity is. Dear students, let us find out the velocity which will be equal to the differentiation of the position and that will be equal to 2a t minus 1 i cap plus 2 bt j cap. Similarly, the acceleration which will be differentiation of velocity will be equal to 2a i cap plus 2b j cap. The student's acceleration and velocity will be normal when a dot v will be 0. This means that 4a square t minus 1 plus 4b square t will be equal to 0. And on solving, t will turn out to be equal to a square by a square plus b square, meaning that option number 4 of this question is the correct answer. Now, let us move to the question 34. In this question, the particle starts from rest on a circle of radius 25 by pi meter with an uniformly increasing speed. If it completes 5 revolutions after 5 seconds of motion, then we have to find out the tangential acceleration. Dear students, we can use the formula that s is equal to half a t square for uniform acceleration starting from rest. Here, s will be equal to 5 times the circumference of so 5 into 2 pi into r that is 25 by pi 
that will be equal to half into a into t square here t is 5 so we can solve this equation and find out the value of a which turns out to be equal to 20 meter per second square making the option number 4 of this question as the correct answer now moving on to the question number 35 in this question a trajectory of a projectile is given we have to find out the maximum height of the projectile now dear students this is a question based on the equation of trajectory and the equation of trajectory of a projectile is y is equal to x tan theta 1 minus x by r now dear students herein x can be taken for 18 meters where y would be equal to 12 meters theta is given in the diagram and it is equal to 45 degrees on substituting these values in this expression we can find out the value of r and it will be equal to 54 meters now dear students we must know that for a projectile 4h by r is equal to tan theta so therefore 4h by 54 which is r will be equal to tan 45 and this means that h will be equal to 13.5 5 meters which matches with the option number 1 and therefore option 1 is the correct answer now moving on to the question 36 mm -hmm.